Hey Gemini, welcome to Tormie and Tarot. We're going to do your weekend read and see what's going on. So, one, two, give me a good one. There she is, yes, okay. So, taking it as it comes out. Three of Pentacles reverse, the moon, and six of wands upright, okay? So, something you've been putting your energy into isn't exactly going the way you thought it would there's some level of um somebody could with the collaborative aspect of three of pentacles somebody could have not been keeping up their end of the bargain um on something and with the moon there is this intuitive aspect of like uh you know you know when your gut something's up but you don't have the full illumination to be like there it is so with the six of wands though i feel like whatever kind of not conclusion so much but you do listen and you kind of just go with it a little bit and then that six of wands is getting the recognition where I feel like you finally step out of I'm not going to say it's a shadow but I'm, I'm only saying shadow because the moon's there and like I said it's not fully illuminated you step out of whatever it was that in a way I think could have been holding you back because I always like look at this card because you have these two people that want to tell this dude what to do and it's like are you doing any of this are you are you it's like the worst group project ever you know so with the six of wands three of swords reversed the star knight of cups in some way like i said you're putting yourself out there again and like you're more clear on what you want you're not just winging it nine of pentacles somebody could have um freed themselves up in some aspect yeah death somebody made a change because with this nine of wands reversed it was like you were sick of having to feel like you were on guard or having to justify things or ace of pentacles reversed it just wasn't going anywhere like they're just no maybe not seeing eye to eye maybe not sharing the same ideas or ideals is what I'm hearing too um, from the beginning so if like you both are starting off from different foundations how are you gonna be able to build you know what I mean so it required a change but in recognizing that and moving out you're getting the recognition and there's some sort of healing some sort of getting what you want and with this Knight of Cups it's like you're finally freed up for something to be like, here you go. Or Gemini, you're the one putting yourself out there because you made this change and like you're good with it. So whatever change it was, you know, and also the moon, Cancer, um, we're literally going into Leo now. So this is like the tail end. This change could be happening at this time or pretty darn soon since it's saying like now. <laughs> right now so let's see one two three and before i pull the oracle i'm just saying it could be between now and scorpio with the death card um there's also aquarius over here but i feel like that's too far out if we're just talking about a weekend if we're talking about a frame of time it could be from now to scorpio so it's really not that far away just kind of like a couple months so with the oracle we have the heart the ship and the children you want a new beginning you're longing for something something might have felt like it was taking too long to get there the new beginning is here with the children the clouds you you're not a hundred percent sure like I said with that moon card something is not completely like revealing itself or blowing the doors off and being like Gemini um, you're just kind of watching though but like I said you're coming from a better spot and <laughs> sometimes I love the key card sometimes I hate the key card you're like duh I know unlock like that's what we're trying to do here yeah you're heading into some new cycle that you know you're finally able to kind of get everything on the same page for yourself you know and and get going so I think this is going to be really nice and I'm actually not getting any kind of like overwhelmment or like oh, I can't believe this it's more like yeah that's the way it is because you're kind of like over this things not starting things not being figured out having nothing to go on and like I said worst group project ever so animal spirit oracle who do we have who do we have for Gemini oh 
wolf. Sorry, I got like kind of excited about that. Um, Pathfinder, release your past and start a new journey. All right, I like this deck already. So you are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. All right, Gemini, looking pretty good for you. All right, so that's what I have for the weekend, and I'll talk to you later.